Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to calculate for the number of blocks in a wall. So with this, we're going to assume that the height of our wall is 3 meters and the length of our wall is 3 meters as well. Also, the length of our block is 450 millimeters and the height of our block is 225 millimeters. A very important thing to note here would be the mortar joints. So usually, Mortar joints are somewhere between 10 to 12 millimeters. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using 12 millimeters. So that means I'm going to add my mortar joint to the length and the height of the block. So that means the length of the block will be 450 millimeters plus 12 millimeters. That will give us 462 millimeters. And the height of the block will be 225 millimeters plus 12 millimeters and that is 237 millimeters with mortar so let's note that so we're going to break this down into two steps so the first thing to do will be to get the surface area of the wall so that will be three meters by three meters and that's nine square meters the second thing will be to get the surface area of the block including the mortar do you remember when we did that before? So that means the height of the block is 0.237 meters and the length of the block is 0.462 meters. So if you multiply that, we're going to have 0.11 square meters. Make sense? For step two, we will calculate the number of blocks in a nine square meter wall. So for this, particular one we're going to use the cross multiplication principle so if one block gives us 0.11 square meters so how many blocks are we going to have in a nine square meter wall so that means we're, we're going to cross multiply this so we're going to have 0.11 x equals to 9 so if we divide you know both of them by 0 0.11 we're going to have um, x equals 9 you know divide by 0 0.11 and we're going to have 81.81 blocks which is the same thing as 82 blocks if you just round it up so usually in stuff like this we always give room for contingencies somewhere between 5 to 10 percent so for the purpose of this video, we're going to use 10% as our contingency. So 10% of 82 will be 8.2 blocks. So if we add that to the original quantity, we're going to have 90.2, which we can just round up to 90 blocks. So in total, we need 90 blocks for this entire wall. So I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this also please turn on your notification bell to always get my videos when i post new stuff about architecture and the built environment all right thank you guys peace out